see how much I'm actually putting in for my dough. Okay, so that's that one. And then this is this is not easy. Three cups, I'm just using two right now. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. Ooh, that's gonna be gorgeous. Now, I'll, t I'll try to be better with this, Hank. There, that was a bit good dust. Okay. I'm scrunching it. See, that's easier to see with that color one there. <laughs> okay, you want me to hold it or? No, just, just do it. Okay. Yeah, these are much bigger than some of the other ones. Okay. It's still scrunched a little bit. Darker colors will go further. Um, they can also take over. I'm just doing half one color and half the other on this one. So with the different layers, can you choose to put it in different places, in different layers, or will it just make sure. it really muddy? I don't know you'd be able to tell any difference when it came out. You can line it up any way you want. Um, it's pretty hard to make a mistake. Actually, yeah, this one we're just going to scrunch in here. Going to scrunch it. Round it in double. And this was a thinner yarn, so I'm just going to use a little bit less. And there's less to it, less to the hang. This is going to be, this is our experimental, oops, got some silk pinkies there. Soak that a little bit wet. The wet just helps it soak in a little bit better, but the first four or five batches I did, I didn't even wet it. Didn't seem to make a huge difference. Okay. This is my 100% cashmere. I'm just going to keep that down in the center. And this is our experimental um, acrylics and a little bit of wool. See what happens there. This will all mix down in there once we fill it with the hot water. up a little bit. I could have used two different spoons that I was too worried about. So. With this new stuff I just added, I probably don't have to worry about that stuff too much. About the, there's a lot of dye right there next to it. Okay, now our silk pinkies. This is a little more than one pack because I had some loose ones left over. When I dye the Angora, oh my gosh, it, every the color just soaks into that Angora really fast. So I think the silk is going to be a lot like that. 
We never died of silk hanky before. No. First time. Friends that grab your fibers dye them all the time. That's why I don't usually do it. This is just for, you know, a little bit of playing for me, maybe. Once I already sell quite a bit that are already dyed up. That's it for me. Now we need to empty this and put, start putting hot water in.